Fuck you now, mate. I'm trying to do a video here. <laughs> Man's asking me for a lighter. So one of the questions I get asked most is, what do I now drink on a night out or at a party? Um, and it's a good question because it does stump a lot of people when they first stop drinking. It did for me. I didn't know if it was acceptable to now switch to a non-alcoholic beer. Um, was I defeating the object? Was it going to lead me back to, to drinking? Didn't want to drink Coke on a night out or lemonade. I'm not a massive fizzy drink person. Um, and I actually asked one of my friends who stopped drinking. I said, what do you drink on a night out or if you're out with the boys, whatever it might be? And he said, sometimes I'll have a pot of tea and for me <laughs> my mates would absolutely batter me if I turned up on a night out with a pot of tea that was a no-go for me but it's a good question I found non-alcoholic beer was really beneficial especially in those early days it was a really good initial coping mechanism for me one thing I would urge against though is when I first stopped drinking I simply replaced those five or six beers in the evening with five or six non-alcoholic beers so I was doing the exact same thing but just with non-alcoholic beer yes it's better for you but it doesn't really take away the issue that you've got I was still replacing that time with a drink uh, and not actually getting to the root of the problem. For anyone that's stuck, there's an unbelievable range of non-alcoholic drinks um, and I'm about to show you in Morrison's. So here we are, whole section, ciders, copperbergs, whatever flavours, old malt, moot, whatever you call it, brothers, you got beer Moretti's, Heineken's, Beck's, copperbergs again, you got your wines, I'll be honest, I'm yet to see a decent non-alcoholic wine, so I'll give that one a miss, but you got gin and tonics, craft beers, cheap stuff, whatever it is, something for everyone. As you can see, you've got so many options in there. For me, I love a Heineken Zero on a night out. The Guinness is unbelievable, non-alcoholic Guinness. Gin and tonics for the summer, Copperbergs for the barbecues. The weather's getting nice now. Have these kind of things stocked? A big thing for me as well is I don't want everyone to be sober. I want my mates to go out and have a good time. I want my wife to have a drink. But these non-alcoholic options aren't just for people that are stopping drinking. If you're flagging a little bit on a night out, switch a gin and tonic to a non-alcoholic one or a beer to a non-alcoholic one and then go again later in the night. But one thing for people stopping drinking, always have a backup. So if you're at a bar, you're not stumped. If they don't serve non-alcoholic beer or non-alcoholic gin and tonic, you've always got an option that you can fall back on. I think it can be quite easy, especially if you first stop drinking. If you go out with the intention of drinking non-alcoholic beer and they've not got it at a bar, it's really easy to just go, I'll just give me a normal beer then, it's just one. And I never wanted to get in that trap. You're gonna have barbecues, parties, gatherings, whatever it might be in the summer. Enjoy it, have a good time. You won't wake up with a hangover and it's a really good time to be living in with options like this.